This is a product review of the MVP22U version 3 made by Unova. I originally purchased this product uh, as the version 2 from Amazon. I had been researching an alternative to a Wacom tablet because I actually already do have a Wacom 22 HD but I needed a second one for work and I felt like uh, Wacom 22 HD would be too expensive to buy twice for both places and I had heard a few people talk about the UC Logic products and I decided that I would give them a shot. I uh, received my version 2 I had a few problems with it. The, uh, there was a bit of jitter when I would draw, especially with slow lines. Um, so I contacted Unova well, I contacted Panda City, the seller for Unova. Uh, they guided me through a few steps to try to problem solve the issue. Uh, eventually we came to the conclusion that it needed to be returned and uh, he offered me an upgrade to the version 3. This is the version 3 uh, by Unova and we're going to go over that. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the stylus and tracking. Uh, the first pen that came with the original version, the version 2, was the P2H. It has a bit of a harder feel to it, more like a colored pencil. The second version, or the third version, comes with uh, the P2X. The P2X feels more like a brush to me. The strokes, it takes a lot less force to actuate from the softest level of pressure all the way to the hardest one. It, it's very little. Uh, the P2X, the P2H, requires a bit more force to get it to actuate. Both track fine. I prefer the harder P2H version of it for my personal style anyway. Uh, it tracks really nicely, slowly. The first version would angle out in curves and stuff when I used it. This one doesn't at all. Um, it tracks fast movements really easily. It can stay fairly small if I would like it to be. Or it goes fat. It, it, it does line width great. So the, the express keys at the top here are very clicky and, and, and require a bit of force to actuate. Um, I, I like that because there's no accidental key presses. I would kind of prefer that they all went on the side over here as opposed to up here because this really doesn't help much but to be honest with you I use the keyboard most of the time anyway. So that's not really an issue for me. Um, I use this at work. It's my daily driver at work. Uh, and I have no problems with, with the way it, it performs. It, it, all of the lines that I do on it are precise as I make them. I mean, everything tracks smoothly. It's, um, it's a joy to use. I, I have more shortcut keys on my Wacom. It has the zoom strip, it has uh, eight other keys, and the one thing that I really can't stand about this one, to be honest with you, and it's UC Logic's fault, not Unova's, is that it doesn't have a shortcut key to change mapping from my little Unova screen to my three monitor setup behind it. Uh, so while I'm watching a movie and drawing at the same time, and I want to pause the movie because I need to go get a cup of coffee or whatever, uh, I, I have to pull out my mouse, and, and that's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. Um, the cords are attached, well actually the, the monitor cable and the USB cable are actually bundled into one cable here and it's directly attached to the monitor. I, I feel like this would have been done best if they would have put uh, ports on the back so that you could go and change the cord if you needed to. Uh, for instance, on my Wacom, my dog had eaten the monitor cable for that and 
man, that was a scary situation. But I'd read online that they could be removed. You could remove the little ring on the back and replace it. And it was actually very, very simple to do. I did. I just went to Fry's and bought a new cable, put it on, and it was all back to normal. Uh, this one doesn't do that, so if something happens to the cable on this particular device, I'm going to have to send it back to Unova and be without it until it comes back. Uh, all in all, I would say it's a pretty good device. I like it. I think the only reason that someone would consider buying the Wacom over this one is maybe because of the shortcut keys and the zoom strip on the side. The drawing surface is very slick and it's reflective and so if I'm drawing during the daytime and there are lights on or something I can see the reflection of it so I usually have to turn that stuff off. And I also prefer the texture because it sort of makes moving across the screen a little more fluid for me personally. But having a glass surface allows for the colors to come through very very nicely. Um, so there is a trade-off. I ran this through uh, my Spider Pro. It says that it's 96% sRGB and 74, I think. Yeah, 74% Adobe RGB, which is fairly common. That's about the same as my Wacom tablet. Uh, so that's about it for this part. We're going to go over an unboxing now. Well, not an unboxing. I'm just going to show you everything that comes with the so device. This is all of the equipment that comes with the MVP 22U version 3. We have the monitor, we have the pens, the stylus. This is the P2X, the firmer one, or the softer one, sorry. The P2H, the more brush-like one. And then DVI to other port adapters. So this is DVI to HDMI, to VGA, and display port. It comes with a warranty leaflet, a quick start guide, some business cards, the driver installation disc, the user manual, and a stylus holder. Inside of the stylus holder is a place to put extra nibs and a nib remover. Artist gloves, they would probably fit most people, but I'm six foot six, so they're entirely too small for me. The cord for the AC adapter, the AC adapter itself, and the DVI cable. The cable is about six feet long. It has the USB connected directly to the head of the DVI port. And then the box is right here. The box is pretty nondescript. I don't really think that's important. But everything inside of it came well packaged. Uh, it had gigantic bubble wrap going all the way around it. It protected the front of the screen well. It also came in like a styrofoam sheet to protect it from scratches and dings and all of the equipment that you see here inside of okay, that. Here is well. a size comparison of the Wacom 22 HD and the Yenova MVP 22U. As you can see, the MVP 22U version 3 is much smaller. It's also a lot lighter. Uh, the side profile, I would say they're fairly close. The MVP22U is still a lot smaller. And for the stand, the stand is a lot lighter, which also makes the entire device a lot lighter. It, you can use this knob here to pull it up, pull it back and it will hold whichever position you put it in or pull it up and leave it there. The Wacom does the same thing but with these levers here. Uh, the carpet is keeping this from moving. That brings it down and they're also assisted by a spring. So that's down and this is up. Uh, overall, this stand is a much heavier stand, and the thing that I had noticed about it before was that your instinct is to grab the actual monitor to pick it up, but what that does a lot of times is it will come out of this slot and this can fall off. 
Um, but that also allows it to be able to swivel back and forth, so that's nice. Okay, so let's go over some of the pieces that we just discussed a little closer. This is the stylus stand here, and if you open it up inside, there is a little card that covers the nib slot, and it has room for a nib remover and extra nibs. And then this plastic case goes back over top of it with a card over top of it to hide it to make it look a little nicer when it's not in use for that purpose. Here are the pens. They both screw open here to reveal the battery, which slips inside here, screws on just like that. The P2X has the colored ring here, sort of similar to the Wacom's pen. Um, the P2H works exactly the same way this screws off here, the battery is inside. The rocker on the P2X is pretty recessed, so accidental presses are not quite as likely as they are with this one because it's a lot more raised. Um, and it compares to my Wacom pen, it's, it's a bit shorter, uh, the Wacom pen is, uh, than the P2X. Uh, it did have the colored ring here, to, I guess it's a nod to Wacom. Um, but they, none of them have the eraser portion of it, which I think is um, more UC Logic's fault. I don't think that the way that they have their technology designed that it can. So that's that. Overall, I would say this is a great product. I think the only people that would feel like this product is not going to be for them are people who use this eight hours a day and so the extra little tidbits like the express keys on the side and the zoom strip on the side are going to make workflow better. And so for those people, it doesn't really matter what it costs, they're going to get that. Um, and I have one too, so I'm not trying to say that they're not worth it, because they are, for people that need that. Uh, but for somebody who works from home, or you know doesn't spend their entire day needing stuff like that shortcut key, or somebody like me who uses a keyboard most of the time, this is going to do just fine for them. Um, I'm not real fond of the glass surface, like I said earlier, because it, it reflects light heavily. And to me, that's a problem. And also, I feel like the textured surface of the Wacom 22 HD is a bit easier to glide your stylus across. Um, so that's about it. That's the Wacom MVP 22U version 3. My name is Craig. Thank you for watching. Like below.